Hello there. So as you can see, my background is Akatsuk. Yes, I am teaching in Akatsuk for quite some time. And my student used to call me Teacher G. So this time, I'll be sharing with you the tips. And what are the probable reasons why students use to complain teachers here in Akatsuk? So I actually identified four reasons why the students or the parents of the students usually complain the teachers. So the first one there is actually tutors were late for class. We have to be sure that our time is in Beijing time. Okay, we should really check the time zone of our laptop or computer that would synchronize in the Beijing time. So ideally, we should enter the classroom two minutes before the class time. And you can just upload the picture saying class will start soon. And it can also have a Chinese translation. So you can just switch off the camera as well as the microphone. While waiting for the time, you can just switch off all this too, your camera and your microphone. So that is usually the major complaint of the parents. The second one, tutors ended class early. So we should take note that it is not allowed to end the class early. Even it is only for one, two, or one second. Two seconds, one second like that. We should not really do that. We are actually teaching 25 minutes, right? So as so what we say there earlier, we should not be late. At least two minutes before the time, we should enter the classroom. And then, let's say for example, the class will start at 11. So we should enter the classroom at 10.58. Maybe you can also, if your internet is really very fast, then you can just enter 10.59. When you leave, so your class will start at 11 and it will end at 11.30, 11.25 rather here because we only teach 25 minutes. 11.25. Do not leave the classroom on the dot of 11.25. Or before 11.25, let's say 11.24.59, that should not be. We should leave the classroom 11.25.10.15.20 or even 26. We should not really leave early. They would really complain if we are going to do that and aside from that the system would automatically detect that we left the classroom early so we should you know be very particular that when we have our opening because you know what what i'm trying to say is we should manage our time very well so the for the time allocation for the vip classes opening should be no more than three minutes what are you going to do during the opening? So you need to say, hi, good afternoon, how are you? If it is a new student, this is Teacher G. What is your name? So the student, of course, answers, ask how old the student, and you may also ask perhaps the habits or what did you do today? Then after that, you, you should really mindful of the time. That would not exceed three minutes. And for the lesson proper, it should be at least 20 minutes. Remember, we are having classes for 25 minutes. So three minutes for the introduction, 20 minutes for the discussion, and the remaining two minutes would be for your closing. Two minutes is enough. Actually, in my case, I, I really say goodbye to my students over 25 minutes. I used to extend a minute or two. That would also be one of the reasons for you to gain more students. Never ever leave the classroom very early. They love you to extend the time because they would really, you know, feel that you are very dedicated and you are really willing to reach them.
Okay, so that's it. Uh, the next one there is so that's letter two. Late and leave early. The next one is noisy teaching background or environment. We have to remember, like me, I'm a home-based teacher. So we should see to it that the background is really quiet. We should make sure that it's quiet enough. But then we cannot really make sure that all throughout there will be no noise that may be heard by, uh, by our students. So the first option there is to have a noise cancellation headset. Okay, a noise cancellation headset. Well, if there is no noise cancellation, maybe noise reduction. And if we cannot really afford to buy those, because I think it's really very expensive. It's expensive. We can maybe talk to the people in at home that they should be quiet and try to cooperate with you because you are going to conduct your class. We should really be very uh, particular because of course if the background is really noisy the student cannot really concentrate okay they cannot concentrate listening to you so if they can concentrate ask yourself will there be learning of course not so maybe we can say we can close the windows close the doors while doing the classes so that the noises out of the room may not be heard by students do not let someone else enter your room to interrupt your teaching. So that can be the things that you can do in order for us to, you know, have a solemn class. <laughs> solemn. I mean, to make our students concentrate and really understand the lesson that we are discussing and uh, actually when you are really teaching online and you are home-based teacher i think we need to invest so if we already have enough money why don't we buy a noise cancellation headset because that is a, a requirement for us to teach online so if you are already earning i think it, it's really uh, just to save money and to really intend and invest for this equipment so we already have three and the fourth one that i have i have um identified is tutors are not focusing on class yes we should really avoid this kind of behavior Maybe we will be misunderstood by the students that, you know, the tutor is not really interested to, to teach him or her. That is why when you are teaching, okay, uh-huh, can you, can you read this? Okay, very good. And what, how about this one? Do you know this one? So if that's the case, you are teaching the student and yet your eyes is not really in your uh, computer you are looking here there you're looking there maybe up or down like that so we should really avoid that because that may uh, make our students think that we are not focusing on the lesson and we are not interested to share to them or to teach them because their purpose of course in having lesson from us is really to, to learn so if that is the case that you are not really looking at them straight to the eye or yeah eye contact they will never think that you are sincere in teaching them. So we have to remember while doing class, we should keep eye contact with the students. React in time when students are saying something. Help and encourage the student in time. We have to remember that we should always acknowledge the answers of the students wow very good that's right wow you're great because you know in praising them would encourage them to participate in the class and it would also trigger them to think critically okay and um eating drinking is or even chatting with someone 
or playing the cell phones are not really allowed. We should not do anything irrelevant to teaching. Do not look left or right. You just try to focus on your monitor so that you can really teach the child uh, thoroughly. Okay? So, yeah. So, we have, I have already identified four reasons why we usually, teachers usually receive complaints. The first one is late. Leave early. Noisy background. And not focused on the class. So, maybe I can still identify some more and that will be discussed with you or shared with you rather in the next video. See ya!